Hi, so we had this space that is part shade. And we also had some trees that were taken down here, so we had to work around roots. But we found a perennial called the Hummingbird Platform. And we went to a local garden center to get some feedback on it, and they suggested this as far as partly shade. Our original product at Costa Maine is, let me lift it, it's our bar, it's our Penobscot blend planting mix for trees and shrubs. And what I wanted to show you is that if you flip over the bag, there are plant very basic planting instructions on the back of the bag. Dig a hole as deep and twice as wide as the root ball of the plant. I haven't quite gotten there. I've got some roots in the way, but we're gonna try this anyway. And then place the plant in the bottom so the stem is centered and the crown is slightly above the rim of the hole. If the root ball is burlap wrapped, make sure to cut away any wrapping. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make an attempt on this. Go ahead and can I, can you bring the camera over here for a second? And I'm just gonna show you, this is what we're a little bit up against. We got a big root here, we're gonna leave it. We get a big root here, we're gonna leave it. Got a hole big enough, maybe slightly small, but we're gonna go ahead and plant it because gardening is part science, part art, and part what's already in your backyard. So we are plenty deep enough in this hole and you can see how rich and dark this soil is. It's compost. And we also have included mycorrhiza in here. And see all these roots? Mycorrhiza will attach to the root system and actually help the plant find food and it will help uptake the food. And you can see in here, we got some little shells. These are oyster shells. They help aerate the soil, make it easier for the roots to grow, even this confined space. But I can tell you something, we've got a resilient plant. It's got a strong root system. We gotta break it up and pull it out a little bit. But once it adapts to the culture, I think it's gonna thrive. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the natural dirt that we pulled out when we were planting this hole with some of the new, beautiful, organically approved compost from Costa Maine. And here's part of my reasoning, all right? So you have all this bacteria and fungi that already knows the neighborhood, right? They wanna blend in and we wanna add some diversity. It's like any good culture, the more diversity, the better. And the locals, and introduce the outsiders, the coast of Maine, to the party that's happening underneath. This is how they get to know each other. This is how they come together to grow a really healthy plant. And I think they're probably already talking to each other. They're like, hey man, where do I go? Over here, here's where you're gonna find the food. They're talking to the plant, we'll water it, they'll have a great time. And ultimately we'll have the happiest healthy plant that we can have and it will improve this backyard space. So we've had quite a bit of water lately. We're in Maine. I'm just throwing some water on here. You can see it's kind of off angle. But that root system's already pretty wet. I'm just adding a little bit more to it, getting it a good start. I think we already got it. A lot of times you build a trench around here and you put it on that to hold the water in a little bit better. Um, but I think this plant's gonna have success even with all my mistakes. It's like raising kids. <laughs>